Hey guys, this is Aaron from RF Digital. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up omnidirectional communication between three assembly devices. Our first will be our transmitter, and the other two will receive. I have with me the assembly development kit number RFD77803, my iPod, and my laptop. Let's get started. Today we'll be using the 29 GPIO, 7 GPIO, two LED button shields, USB programming shield, and a AAA battery shield. In the Arduino IDE, open the Send sketch under File, Examples, Symbly.com, Send. Let's walk through this sketch. First we have the include symbly.com.h line. This includes the symbly.com header file with definitions of functions. Next we define our payload. With each send function, we can send up to 15 bytes in symbly.com. This is what we will send to the receiving end. Let's move to the setup function. Here you'll see the symbly.com.begin function call. This starts symbly.com and gives us communication functionality. Next we have our void loop function. Within this function, you'll see one function call, symbly.com.send. This will actually send the payload to any receiver listening. This function takes two arguments. The first is our actual payload. The second is the size of the payload we're sending, so that the receiving end knows what to expect. Let's upload this sketch to our assembly. Take your USB shield, seven pin GPIO, fit them together, making sure the headers line up correctly. Add an RGB LED shield on top of that and plug it into any standard USB port. Go to Tools and make sure the correct COM port is selected. Compile and upload your sketch and this assembly will begin transmitting. As you can see here, there's no visual indicator that it's transmitting. Let's change that and turn on the LED when it sends. Under your payload definition, let's define your LED variable. Int LED equals 3. That should give us a green light. In your setup function, above symbly.com.begin, add pin mode, LED, and set it as an output. Remember that the pin mode function takes two arguments. The first is the pin, and the second is the mode that you want to set. Scroll down to the void loop function. This is where we're going to turn our LED on and off. Under the symbly.com.send function, let's turn on our LED. Add digital write LED high. Next, let's add a delay of 50 milliseconds. Type delay and put 50 in the parentheses. Next, we want to turn off our LED. Again, do a digital write LED low. Let's delay for another 50 milliseconds for a total of 100 milliseconds. Compile and upload your sketch and you should see the changes immediately on your assembly. You'll notice that the LED flashes on and off every 50 milliseconds on each send. Remove your assembly from the USB shield and plug it into the AAA battery shield. Flip the switch on the side and you're externally powered. Let's add a receiving device. For this, you'll need a USB extension cable. Remove the USB shield from your laptop and plug it into your extension cable. Then plug that into the side of your laptop. Take your 29-pin GPIO and plug the USB shield on top, making sure the headers line up correctly. Then add the LED button shield. Back in the Arduino IDE, open File, Examples, Symbly.com, and click the Receive sketch. This sketch is just a little bit different than the last. You'll notice in the Setup function, we have a serial.begin command. This will allow us to see the data that we receive on the serial console. You'll also notice that the void loop function doesn't have anything in it. Everything that we need is going to happen in the symbly.com underscore onReceive function. The commands in this function will print the RSSI, 
ESN, and payload to the serial console. The first line prints the RSSI, which is the received signal strength indicator. The second line prints the ESN, which is the electronic serial number of your Simbly device. Each Simbly has its own unique ESN. And this for loop will print each byte of the payload to the serial console. We'll end that with a new line. Let's compile and upload this sketch. Go to Tools and Serial Monitor and you should see data on your screen. In this data, you'll see negative 44, that's our RSSI. If you move your sending device farther away, you should see this number change. Second, we have our ESN. After that, the console shows the bytes of our payload in hexadecimal format. So you'll see 1 through 9 and A through F. Go ahead and close that. Since there's no visual indication, let's turn on the LED when we receive a payload. Under the include line, add int LED equals 4. Pin number 4 is connected to the blue LED. In the setup function, under the serial.begin command, type pin mode, LED, and let's set it to an output. Scroll down to the symbolycom underscore on receive. Before we print our RSSI, add a digital write high to turn on our LED. Add a slight delay of 20 milliseconds and another digital write low to turn our LED off. Compile and upload your sketch and you should see the changes on your second device. Now look at your device. You should see the blue LED blinking. Let's add a third assembly device. I have another 29 GPIO breakout. Unplug your first receiver and set it aside. Return to the Arduino IDE, go to Tools, and make sure the correct COM port is selected. Compile and upload this sketch to your new assembly device. Dismantle your first receiver and remove the USB shield. Add a AAA battery shield on top and the LED button shield. Click the on switch. You should now have two receivers and a transmitter. You can add as many as you want. You can find more documentation at simply.com.